Hello, I'm Dr. John Harding. I'd like to welcome you to our program tonight. This is the second part of a program we're doing on infant nutrition in the first year. We have two guests, hospital clinical dietitians. Suman Coley is the coordinator, and Debbie Esposito is her compatriot in this work in the hospital. I've known them both uh, through the hospital, through consults at the hospital and patients of my own children, and uh, through their own two children. Suman has two girls, and Debbie has two boys. And we're going to talk tonight about infant nutrition in the second half of the first year, six months through 12 months. And our last show, we talked about the first six months. And just to review a little bit, we talked about breastfeeding and formula feeding and the pros and cons. We talked about introduction of solid foods. We talked about fluoride, vitamins. I think one of the things we didn't mention uh, perhaps clearly enough last week was about vitamins. I, I really don't feel that uh, the formula fed baby or the breastfed baby needs a vitamin supplement. I, I think there is adequate vitamin complement in, in uh, both. Do you, do you agree to that? Or? I agree. I think uh, if you read the literature, there is um, controversial issues on, for example, vitamin D supplementation. But um, uh, my own opinion is that you don't need it, um, especially during the first six months. Okay. I think we talked a little bit about iron, and, and uh, there often and usually is enough iron in the diet of the baby uh, through the first six months if, if the baby is breastfed, or if the baby is formula fed a formula with iron, not the low iron, but the with iron formula. But certainly I'll see a number of times that the baby doesn't get enough iron, and, and when they're checked, they will be found to be iron deficient, and, and we will supplement the breast milk or the formula with iron with extra iron in, in, in drop form. Uh, as we get into solid foods, the latter part of that first six months, uh, certain foods do have extra iron. Meat, green vegetables, rice cereal, the cereals are often iron fortified. Um, we talked a bit about fluoride, which we start at one month of age, two drops of the liquid fluoride, which is one quarter of a milligram of fluoride, and we start the fluoride. And I, I recommend fluoride right through the first 10 years of life, and we start in infancy because the baby's teeth are beginning to form, even though they might not appear until the baby is six or eight months old. And uh, we're going to start now tonight with the, with the six months to, to 12 months period. To me, I think the most significant part change if I see a six-month-old infant is we might get a question here about what about trying whole milk, regular whole milk? I, I think the parents have, if they haven't been breastfeeding, have been paying for formula for six months and they've heard rumors that uh, maybe their mother told them that they were started on whole milk when they were three months old and their digestive system seems fine. They don't have an ulcer. They seem to be able to eat pepperoni pizza and everything. And uh, is it wrong? I really uh, don't recommend starting whole milk until about eight months at the earliest. And uh, many pediatricians would, and dietitians, I think, would say one year for whole milk. I think if a baby is uh, 